My sisters and brothers in Christ, as we continue this Lenten journey with the coronavirus, first of all, I extend to you my prayerful support to each and every one of you. I also want to express my sincere, heartfelt thanks for your prayers and concerns during this time of my recuperation. I've received many, many messages, more than I can even count. And I wanna thank you for remembering me, for lifting me in prayer, and for asking God that this can be a time of healing so that I can return to ministry. Yesterday, our Holy Father gave an extraordinary talk to the city of Rome and the world, and then did, within that context, a holy hour. I would just encourage you, if you have not heard it, to do so, it is on YouTube. It is a powerful, powerful talk about Jesus sleeping in the boat, but then reminding them that he was with them. Take a look at it. I think you will enjoy it and be consoled by it. The Gospel of today is all about Lazarus, Jesus appearing at the tomb of Lazarus to give consolation to Martha and Mary. And they open the tomb, and there is Lazarus, lifeless, dead. And Jesus calls him forth, come forth, Lazarus, come forth. He uses that opportunity to restore Lazarus to human life, but also Jesus makes a very important point of telling us the meaning of death. First of all, that this life is not our final destination, that this life is not what we finally look to. He tells us that through death we pass over to a new life. And so it is that we remember that Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who lives and believes in me, even if they should die, shall live. All those who live and believe in the Lord Jesus will share in that resurrection of his life. My sisters and brothers, in order to meditate on this, may I suggest that you stand at the entrance of the tomb looking at Jesus and let him be able to breathe new life into you there are ways in which all of us feel maybe half dead, half alive. We're burdened by many things. It could be things going on in the family, even before the virus. It could be some troubling issues going on inside of us. Or it could be the virus itself in this time of incredible uncertainty, in this time of anxiety, in this time of worrying about family and finances and so many issues. Stand before Jesus at the entrance of the tomb and let him breathe new life into you and into me. That is his desire for us during this Lenten journey. That is his desire for us as we celebrate this fifth Sunday of Lent. He is the resurrection and the life. And also, any way in which we feel dead or half dead or dying, he is there as the Lord Jesus to breathe his life into us. May God's blessings be with you, be assured of my prayers, and thank you for your life of faith.